What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at one of the Molly images from the Curiosity rover. Um, this was from, there's the Mars hands lens imager. This little thing's at the end of the robotic arm. It can take some pretty interesting uh, shots. Now, I can't remember who found this. I found this somewhere in the in uh, Thomas's one of those groups, the Space Moon Mars uh, Club, out on Facebook. I'll link that below. If you go to whatsupinthesky.com, all that stuff's linked. All those guys out there have some pages out there. They've all been hooking their stuff up. Glad to have them on board. Um, but here we go. Let me show you what we found. See, now I've kind of turned this images a little bit. Came in like this, as you can see. But the interesting part is over here, and right now, this is how I've kind of just cleaned it up a little bit to make it look um, just a little bit more pronounced. But let me go ahead and I'll show you how it came from NASA there without the blur. Now this is the one that, uh, this was the JPEG version that it was started with. Now since this was back on SAW 518, it's already been put into the database for the, uh, you know, your... There's two different systems you can get your downloads from. You can get them from the PDS files, which are like the planetary database system, which gives you all sorts of information that goes with it, um, you know, where it was, where it was heading, the view it took of it. Now, there's also the just the standard raw images, where they say they're raw images here on the website. So I'm going to link you up to this one. Um, it does just as good of a picture. You can see that piece right there, um, as well as some others in here. Now, here's the other one. I'm not show you how this comes. And you notice the color is a lot different on these. Um, something about the way they, they process the photos. They definitely, to me, they seem to have a little bit better quality when you go through this way. Not too much. So There's nothing really to write home about. But this right here, tell me that does not look like a fossil. Some These are just some old fossils right here. But tell me that this piece does not look like one of these. Or one of these, or maybe, you know, this is the side of it. See how it's got something along those lines? And this would be pretty small. I mean, the rover's wheels are about this. I saw the rover when I was down at uh, the Air and Space Museum. It's about the size, you know, a little bit bigger than my head, if you were looking at this. And uh, interesting stuff. This just looks like something that was underwater, grown, something like that. Very Earth-like here. And around it are some very interesting little pieces as well. Um, here's I've cleaned that one up just a tad bit. And uh, you can see where you sharpen it up. Let me get it pretty big on the screen for you so you can see it. Now, also next to it, this piece right here is pretty cool, too. I don't know what's going on with that, but that's what I love about this little Molly cam. This thing's on the rover, end of the rover arm, and it can take these pictures. A lot of times, I think that uh, things slip through on these pictures because they're not, you know, they're, they're in such a different turning, you know, how they're, the radius is turned. But there's a couple other things. Check these things out over here. Um, let me get my little sharpener let's see if we just can't sharpen that up just a tad bit i mean this is pretty whatever in the world these little things are at first it looked like they were almost uh very similar let's see just kind of two little pieces next to each other there thought it was interesting and as we move up this there's a piece right here see looks almost like a, a piece of macaroni and you can see under it, like a little little dome and like i said these pieces are probably pretty small right here but as we look off into the distance there's a couple other interesting pieces that get picked up well first let's start right here with this one right here uh this piece right here which i thought was kind of cool has a, that's just a sharp i'm just kind of using a sharpening tool over top of it real fast and as we roll up the side out here along this here check this out this is almost the same kind of, uh, just a very strange, they look like spheres, and then this kind of looks like some tube that comes down into another little rack of spheres. There's three right there, you can see right under here. Up here there's another three, maybe even four. And it kind of looks like whatever it was has been dilapidated, but it ran like maybe some sort of line. And look up here, see how it comes up along the corner. It's got that 90 degree angle in it. Over here, there's actually, I mean, let me get the little pointer on my pointer. If you check right here, there's a 90 degree, there's a 90 degree. Okay, it comes down, there's a 90 degree, there's a 90 degree. But there's something inside of there. Here, it's built up. There's like a little, this comes into here and there's a little circle. To me, it almost looks like some sort of machinery or something that was just kind of thrown out in this whole little area. 
Now, like I said, that's just total speculation. But with that other piece being there, who knows what's going on? Like I said, I, I think these Molly pictures, they really don't um, expect to pick up too much from them. Now, let me just kind of tie those in. There was another couple pieces here. This had some symmetry. Look, if you cut this thing right down the middle, it looks like this piece over here and that piece over there would match. Just observation. Um, some interesting pieces down through there. I guess this is this one definitely thought was cool. It's got like the little honeycomb. It almost looks like a little pine cone we see here on Earth. Um, then there's also something else down here. Check these smooth pieces out we rolled past. They're just really smooth. They almost look like little pieces of something. Um, and we don't know how big or small Martian tech was because we don't really know if you know what size these inhabitants were. Look at this piece right here. This almost looks like some sort of machinery right there. Uh, very small. Granted, like I said, we're not 100% sure what size this stuff would be, but see the intricacy in it? It has some things coming off. It comes down. It goes around. If you just look right in the middle of the circle, there's like a box, but... Let's scroll back on over past Mr. Wheel here. Anything you can see in the middle of the wheel. Oh, there's these things down here too. Just to show them to you. I thought this was kind of interesting. Um, it almost looks like another bone or something along those lines. I'm sure that one of our medical students, somebody, that, somebody that's, uh, that's astute can tell us what type of bone that looks like. Uh, it, it does look like one. I've seen it before. Down here, there's a piece right here that's just kind of interesting, and you'll, I'll show you to you on the other piece as, just as well. And then as we go up the side here, we're going to see, I uh, thought that kind of like a face on the front of there. That's just our eyes, make interesting things. Here had something a little interesting. See how this kind of pulls off? It's like three little boxes. Let me see if I can't sharpen that up just a tad. It's like three little, one, there's one right in the middle, there's two, then there's three. But then up here, once again, this will be our main anomaly. I tell you, I, I don't know what to say about it other than uh, it's definitely interesting. And this piece next to it is interesting as well, too, because it seems to have just... It, it seems like it could be a fossil itself, too. But right here, definitely, that looks like one of those fossils to me. Um, ah, it definitely does. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know. Here's Here it is on the... Uh, all right, hold on. I added a lot of, uh, see how I kind of, I basically ran that tool over this one, just going through it and seeing what else I could find on it. So if I started here, I just, let's just say I sharpened it up just with just with the tool. It only did this little area right here, what we could come up with. It still seems to have that whole, that whole look to it. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I'm not on, I'm on an angle, so it's going to be a little bit. So image, just do auto. Auto tune, image, adjust, brightness. I want to get the contrast. And we'll just kind of zoom on in. I don't know, guys. It looks like a fossil to me. Let me know. Comment below. Um, like I said, I'll try and get whoever. Like I said, I'll try. I always try. To, I'm not, I didn't find this. Like I said, I'm not trying to take credit for it. I hate people to do that. Even though I do think I do feel like the rover finds all these. But there's a lot of weird stuff going around now when it comes to fakes. A lot of fakes been going around lately. A lot of uh, questionable new channels have popped up, getting an awful lot of hits, putting a lot. And the majority of the videos are, are junk. Um, a lot of known hoaxes and stuff like that. So very interested to see where this is going. I think we've spooked some people. Um, obviously, the truth is going to get out there. And uh, I'm going to try and, listen. I'm trying to really wean in, like, the whole, my channel a little bit. Like I said, we're doing the website. But we're, whereas for me, I'm trying not to do the, just the blatant stuff that I think is probably, you know, like I had done the, the cowardly lion on on. Mars before, even if the thing looked like a lion, I'm, I'm just gonna be a little real careful because I now I really want to start thinking about uh, presenting this somewhere, trying to get this information out more than just our groups here. I mean, we grant the channel's got 5.5 million views on it, but I, that's just not enough, you know. We we really, um, like I said, I feel like I try and tell the truth, and I know a lot of the people that I associate with are trying to do the same thing as well. So I want to make sure we have 
a nice place to talk. That's why the website, if you haven't come and joined the website yet, what's up in the sky.com, come join the forums, join the fun. If you're looking to upload, if you say you're, say you, uh, say you make videos or you make, uh, images, a lot of people do images, uh, you want to post on it, contact me, will at willfrar.net, let's talk. And uh, if I haven't talked to you about it yet, or if I have, and you want to go ahead and get on board and start posting to it, there's a lot of good stuff on there. So, all right, guys, much love to you. What's up in the sky, 37? Hang in there. We'll keep on, keep on looking, keep on searching, but let me know. Do you think that's a fossil, or do you think that's... It might be something else, you know. I might be looking at something. Oh, somebody say, oh, that's the vertebrae of this, or that's a an instrument of blah 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 blah. What do you guys think it is? <laughs> all right, much love, peace. <laughs>